The ukulele is an instrument that brings people together. And now you can borrow one from the public libraries. Thanks to a partnership with the Music for Life Foundation, three state libraries now have an ukulele lending program. The Ina Heine Library, which just reopened last week, is the latest to take part. The foundation was founded by Jake Shimabukuro and Leo de Kiwag. They hope to eventually expand the program to all public libraries across the state. I spoke with Leo and ukulele virtuoso Taimane Gardner yesterday to learn more about it. Thanks so much for being here with us. First of all, let's talk about the ukulele that you brought. These are the ones that people can actually rent from the library? Yes, these are the actual ukuleles that people can borrow, like, like books from the library. Nice, so, um, and it's free? Yes, library, you just need a library card. That's great. Yeah. This will definitely give some kids the opportunity to actually pick up an ukulele that um, maybe they might not be able to otherwise because it's expensive, right, right Taimane? Right. Yes, exactly. And this is a perfect way to make it accessible um, to students. Um, it's completely free. All you need is a library card. You can go into the library and uh, check them out. Uh -huh. and why are you involved in this? You're an ukulele virtuoso. You, you're a music superstar, but yet you're you. giving back to the community through well, this way? I just, I believe that every child should have access to a music instrument. And I really um, believe in what Leo's doing with his foundation. Um, he reached out to me and asked me to be a part of it. And I thought it was such a great cause to be a part of. I, of, of course, I said yes. And a couple nights ago, uh, we reopened the Aina Haina Library. They're the third library to be a part of this program. What are the other two? Um, Nanakuli was the first, and then Waimanalo. And the libraries, you know, libraries are such a, um, a level playing field of opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so we thought this perfect place where we can um, have ukuleles available for kids of all economic, social backgrounds mm -hmm. to, um, to borrow. And you grew up in East Oahu, right? I did. Uh, he asked me which public library I wanted to um, help, and I said Aina Haina. I'm born and raised in Aina Haina, so it just made sense for me to go back, it, go back there and just uh, help in any way that I could. Um, it's such a great place for, you know, kids are already going there to do homework, and this is just another reason for them to go to the library and do something with music. And talk about the Music for Life Foundation itself. Well, we started eight years ago with a mission to empower people through music and our efforts, activities, and things like this uh, are, um, we provide opportunities for, um, for people to enjoy um, playing music, you know, enjoy, explore the, um, the health, education benefits of music. Yeah. And so we think that the, uh, li putting Euclid's library is just a perfect opportunity for um, you know, putting it out there and having people just enjoy. Mm -hmm. and I'm kind of fascinated with this clear one because I didn't realize it was a real. It looked, kind of looks like a toy. I'm really not musically talented, it, so I don't know what I'm doing here. But uh, yeah, um, it plays. It yeah, plays. And very good. And it's great for kids as well because it's a lot more sturdy too, more durable. You can even get water on top of it. And wipe and it down for the. It's it's fine. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you picked up an ukulele? Yes, I was five and my dad gave me my first ukulele and I loved it so much I played in front of the mirror uh, pretending I was like a rock star <laughs> until I broke a string and so my dad uh, said, okay, well, I guess we'll put her in uh, lessons and I've been playing ukulele for 25 years now and wow, the it's rest amazing. Is history. Yeah, it's amazing what this instrument can do. I've traveled all over the world because of my love for the ukulele. It's easy to transport. It's not overwhelming like a guitar, uh -huh. and um, it really brings um, joy to everyone around. And it's amazing what you can actually do with it. It's not just you know entertaining Waikiki, yeah. the old what we think of old Waikiki, sure. but you can play all kinds of songs on right. it. Yeah. You can. That is a, another good reason to play ukulele. It can play yeah. different types of cultural music. It can play traditional, whatever you want. And so we have them here today, but. Starting tomorrow or this weekend, people will be able to. They check can do them it out. now, yeah. Oh, at, they can at, do all it. Okay. at three libraries Nanakuli, Waimanalo, and Aina Haina. Okay, great. Yeah, and as soon as we can get more musicians to support the cause, um, we'll, we'll open up, um, we'll, we'll introduce more ukuleles to more libraries. Oh, great. Great, great cause. And we're doing it in Never Islands yes. too, so we're not going to leave them slighted, uh -huh. you know. So. Oh, wonderful. I'm sure they're going to get snatched up like that. 51 libraries <laughs> in the state of Hawaii, uh -huh. three down. 48 to go. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Leo and Taimani. Thank you. Thank you. Back over to you, Gina.